Jake, not the result we wanted out there today, but plenty of positives can be taken away from it. What can you take away from today's performance? Yeah, I think um, obviously the start wasn't good enough. Um, probably give ourselves too much to do being 2-0 down, um, but show good character. And I thought we, you know, stuck to our guns and played played our football and tr um, nearly played our way back in the game. But in the end, it just um, the third goal kind of deflated us, and you know we, we we showed fighting spirit and never gave up. But in the in the end, it just wasn't enough. I think it's fair to say you don't often go away from a game conceding four, but still happy with the result, as in the way you guys performed. Uh, yeah, obviously. Listen, we're not happy with the result. Um, obviously, we go into every game, um, you know, trying to win the game. So obviously, it's disappointing to lose. But as a performance, I can understand what you're saying. But in terms of the result, you know, we're we're disappointed. Um, but you know, in football, there's always a game, you know, around the corner to turn things around. So. Saturday comes um, soon, so hopefully we, you know, we bounce back and you know, put in a good performance on, on Saturday against Oxford. A strong display once again from the travelling like Grecian supporters. What was the atmosphere out there like tonight? Yeah, the Grecians are, are brilliant. You know, home in a way. You know, they show us, they show their support. You know, last season it was brilliant, and you know, this season they've carried it on and you know, um, followed the numbers. So you know, we can't fault them, um, and you know, we're thankful for them following us all over the country. We've seen quite a few defensive injuries in the squad this season. Um, obviously, makeshift back five, you've been quite lucky to not have the injuries this season. But what's it been like playing in what is a makeshift back five with Josh having to fill in the centre half? Uh, listen, I don't think it's obviously it's just not Josh's natural position, but I think, you know, since he's gone in there, I think he's been, he's been a credit to himself. So I, don't, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a makeshift. Obviously, he's not Josh's strongest, but, you know, we, you know, we kept a clean sheet against Barnsley, kept a clean sheet against Forest Green, so it's not all bad. Um, you know, um, you can't get too down with the, with the lows and too high with the highs. So you know we'll take we'll we'll pinpoint what what went wrong today and you know we'll move on. With Harry returning tonight and hopefully Tim Check and Sam in the future, how much of a boost would it be when all the boys are back together? Yeah, you know obviously you want all your all your, all your players fit, um, um, fit and available. You know that gives you know the manager a selection headache and that's what obviously he wants. So you know the the quicker the boys get back on the pitch, the better. As much as there were negatives with the result tonight. One big positive for the club over the last couple of days, rival of baby MJ. Anything you want to say to the captain? Yeah, obviously congratulations to MJ and his partner. Um, hopefully mum and baby are doing are doing well. So yeah, just obviously on a, on a side note, congratulations to MJ and his family and you know, um, another Grecian. Yeah, there you go. Uh, looking on to the next game, we've got Oxford at home. How are you guys prepared for that after tonight's game? Like I said, obviously we'll we'll pinpoint what went wrong today, um, the positives and the negatives, and you know we're going to to Oxford. I'm I'm sure um, the manager will will have a game plan for us, and we'll try and execute that and try and get the three points at home. Brilliant. Cheers, Jake. Thank you very much.